A pumped overfeed, or research system, is similar to the gravity flooded system in that it utilizes a vessel that was not part of the DX system. In a pumped overfeed system, however, the vessel, often called a recirculator, is not located above the evaporator. In fact, the recirculator may be a long distance from the evaporator. Instead of using gravity to supply liquid to each evaporator, the recirculator will have a pump connected to the bottom of the vessel, which will move the cold liquid refrigerant from the recirculator to the evaporator. As with the DX and flooded systems, the liquid will boil inside the evaporator. Vapor formed in the evaporator is returned to the recirculator, where it is separated from the liquid and rises to the top of the vessel. The vapor from the recirculator is piped to the suction inlet of the compressor. A third option is our pumped overfeed or research system. This is very similar to the gravity flooded system in that we have uh, a vessel, again, employed. Uh, we don't call this vessel a surge drum typically, usually it's called a recirculator, sometimes a low pressure receiver. Uh, but just, just like the gravity flooded system, this has a solenoid valve that opens and closes based on a, a float switch to maintain a liquid level. But in this case, rather than feeding liquid by gravity as we did in the flooded system, instead now we will employ a pump that will move our low pressure liquid to the evaporator, which I've shown um, above the vessel in this case. And that evaporator can be a long distance away from, uh, a long distance away from where the pump is and the recirculator is for this pump door feed system. So the advantage of this pump door feed system is that um, it takes care of the flash gas situation, just like the gravity flooded system does, because the flash gas is able to be piped directly back to the compressors. Um, the other advantage of this is you can have one um, recirculator vessel that could feed many, many evaporators. So you don't have to have a whole bunch of surge drums like you might have to in a flooded system. Okay, so those are those are two advantages of this system. Therefore, the refrigerant charge for a, a pumped overfeed system is typically lower than the equivalent flooded system, but still higher than the direct expansion system. Um, downside of this system is you don't get quite as as precise of temperature control uh, compared to a flooded system when we're talking about individual rooms or zones. Having a surge drum. Per, um, per zone or per room allows you to precisely set a temperature in a flooded system, whereas the research systems, you don't have quite, quite the same level of control.